This is Sudex. This is our main summer cover crop. We like it a lot because it helps alleviate soil compaction. You can also use it for nematode and disease suppression. Normally we like to plant Sudex around Memorial Day. This year with the wet weather we got significantly delayed. Uh, we were planting in June and into July. Uh, I spread or plant mine with a Vicon seeder, uh, sling it out around 25 pounds of the acre and then lightly disc it in. This is an age and stage where we like to flail it when it's about head high or a little bit above. This will be about four tons of dry matter per acre. Some people tell me that planting Sudex can create a significant weed problem. That's not a problem as long as you mow it before it shoots those seed heads. That's why we like to see it mowed when it's about a head high, not much bigger than that. Another advantage of Sudex that I've seen over the years is good weed suppression. If you grow this for a couple of years, you can significantly reduce your weed population. There is no light in there for those weeds to get established and grow. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.